Welcome to another video by me, Shadow Guru. Uh, this time we're going to be going over Fallout Shelter. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say I'm an expert on this game at all. I don't know it nearly as well. I just started playing it because it just recently came out on um, Android, so I haven't been able to play it for super long. Uh, but this game is addicting as hell. It's so much fun. Um, so right now I have 68 people, um, more than enough facilities of everything. Uh, we'll go over that here in just a second. But if you don't have this game already, go and get this on your phone right now. It is absolutely amazing. Um, so, I don't even know, let's talk about let's, how you begin this. So, um... Right now, I have a nuclear nuclear reactor on my top level, which is right next to it. See, that produces energy. Um, so, just like your power areas, the not that one. Do do do. Yeah, playing this on the computer is too difficult. Like, you actually need both fingers. This is kind of lame. But um, so you have the power facility here, the power plant that produces the energy that you need for all your rooms. You have your water treatment, provides all the water, and then you have the restaurant, which provides all the food. Uh, once you get enough people, you can get the nuclear reactor, which is the better form of the energy. Um, I'm two people away from getting the, the food one, so I have a better food supply instead of just making restaurants. Um, but there's, all, there's so many different aspects of this game, it's not even funny. Uh... I got super lucky on a couple of the packs that I opened up, and I actually have an Elder. Elder, Elder Lionels. I, I'm not even super into Fallout. This is bad. This is really bad, but oh my god. Uh, so he's apparently a rare character, and he is amazing. He's holding a rare weapon, the friggin' rusted um, rocket launcher. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. But, um... Yeah, I've had him out for a little while now. He hasn't, he's gotten a couple blues, but nothing really absolutely amazing. And a raider attack! Good timing! Yeah, so random things like this will happen throughout the entire game. Just like random raid attacks. Um, when you rush, there's things that'll happen. You'll get random mole attacks. So let's see here. I have him and him. No, not him, right? Do, do, do. I believe it's this guy, yep. He has a good weapon on him. To combat the raiders as they come in. They should die before... They should die before anything happens. So, I don't know if you could see me when I was leaning down there. So, ha! <laughs> well, let's take a look at that. <clears throat> so this is what's going on. Yeah. They have really good weapons on them right now. It's super awesome. Um, at one point, for some stupid reason, I closed the game and then opened it again in like two hours' time. And in two hours' time, everyone went from 100... Like, I was like nearly at 100%. Everyone was... My total percentage in the top corner here... I don't know why I pointed it out. So you can't even see it on camera. Uh, the, the total happiness of my people, of all 68 people, was at 95%. And then I came back to the game, and all of my food was gone, all of my water was gone, all of my energy was gone, everyone was at, le at, was at half health or below, and at 10% happiness, like, I have no idea what happened, because literally it was just a two-hour span of nothing. Like, I just, I closed the game, and I came back, and I was almost dead, so... Hopefully that never happens to any of you, because that took a minute to fix. Um, right now I'm going through the process of trying to move all of my facilities. I want to have it so all of this left-hand side, three buildings worth, is either the food or the water or the energy. Those three main things. And then have everything on this side be all of the extra, like uh, the radio tower... Um, all of the training facilities, um, and the med bay, all, all of the extra stuff. 
and then have all of these middle sections, excluding the one up top here, because I need people of high strength there for attacks, um, but everything else to be either storage or living area. That way it's the most protected. <clears throat> the only thing I really regret is I'm so far into this, and I can't... I would have to delete every single building to get rid of this elevator slot here, because when a raider, when when raids do happen, which happen with more than just raiders, I got attacked by something stupid strong, I don't even know what it was, and it like went from room to room, and I had to keep paying attention to every room they went in to prevent them from killing everyone in that room. They did so much damage. I, if you know what they are, tell me in the comments. I have no idea what they what can spawn from there, but uh, yeah, it was ridiculous. Everyone got their butts kicked. Um, but I want to get rid of this elevator slot so that they would have to go all the way across, but to do that, you literally would have to delete every single building, and I just can't do that. I, I, it's just it, that's not happening, especially because the refund rate is terrible. You spend like five thousand on a building, you're gonna be lucky if you get maybe eight hundred to a thousand out of it. It's it's a terrible conversion ratio. So once you've built a place, make sure that's where you actually want it, and think strategically as where you're putting everything, because <clears throat> that's just such a major point in this game. Like it's just strategically placing all, out all these things so that you can send your people to appropriate spots. Um, yeah, anyway, I mean, I don't really know exactly what else to say. If you guys have anything, any questions on this game, I'll be, I'll post another video with some more answers. Um, go ahead and like this and uh, tell me more about it, alright? I'll see you guys at some point. <laughs> have a good one.